There's a fairly common saying that claims that art is a personal reflection of society, but art can also be a reflection of what we hope society to be. Well, joining me now in the studio to tell us about her amazing artwork and the stories that inspire them is Israeli artist Olit Melton. Thank you so much for joining us, Olit. Thank you for I having me. I see this incredible, uh, it's a photograph painting, it's unclear this from is here. This is digital art. Digital art, yes, wow. Yes, I made it in uh, the computer. Uh, when, I, when somebody uh, hear that I made it in the computer, he said, ah, oh, the computer, but I'm always saying that the computer is not painting by itself. Of course. Of, uh, behind it, there, is, there must be an artist with uh, skills and uh, talent that uh, draw it and paint it and, paint it and have uh, skills in graphic uh, applications. Absolutely. And uh, there are uh, much uh, many advantage to this uh, kind of art because you can spread the message mm -hmm. and you can uh, print copies for limited edition and uh, to spread the message that well, what, what is so what is the message I mean first I just like to say that when I initially saw this I could not tell whether you had painted it or if it was digital I know that people who are watching probably can't yes. see that experience I painted that, I, I, I paint I it with a digital brush a digital brush and right. the, 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 the computer is a canvas and the, the mouse is a brush and I paint it with a digital brush. Amazing. And it is also combining of uh, fo uh, photos, uh, f um, uh, photographs, and right. Uh, right, because you can, the ground is so realistic. So, tell us a little bit about the meaning behind this painting yes. and the work that you do in general. Uh, yes, I call my art uh, "Out for the Souls" because uh, it, the paintings are coming from a very deep mm -hmm. in, uh, in inside me, and I hope to touch the the soul, the, the same point in the soul of the viewer. And uh, as there is an old saying that uh, uh, one picture was more than, than a thousand worlds. Yeah, of course. Because the pictures uh, evoke, uh, arise in you uh, uh, emotional experience. And sometimes words are evoking uh, resistance. So uh, since I'm a little girl and I set, was sitting in the terrace with my father and saw the kaleidoscope in the you know, through the sun, yeah. and I was looking for shapes in the, and colors in the, in the sun, I realized after years that uh, this was the beginning of uh, a very uh, precious uh, present that uh, I got from above, yeah. uh, seeing images in my mind that I um, have a, a, a very great uh, urge to, to mm -hmm. um, to, sh to share them and to... Well, yeah, I mean, I, this is something that it, it's clearly straight of your, out of your mind because, you know, this is a scenario that I don't know if I could come up with that. It's yes. beautiful, it's beautiful. So what is what is next? Yes, Are you, I want you to explain a, about this Well, painting. we're running out of time, unfortunately, yes. for this specific painting, but we would Just like to know uh, where we could see your, your next uh, work. My, my works, uh, where, where can you see it? Uh, I, I'm going to take a part in a new gallery in Akko, in old Akko, near the synagogue of the Ramchal, and I have a gallery in my studio in Jerusalem. And uh, you can see me in, in uh, Google, in Facebook, oritmartin.com, and you can see every, all the paintings. All right, well, for all of our viewers, go check out Orit Martin's work. It's beautiful, and thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.